Today we're speedrunning through Earn to Die 2012, cause who doesn't like killing some zombies? Now the story for this game takes place right after the original Earn to Die, where we got in the helicopter and now a bunch of zombies are trying to take us down. And then of course we lose our fuel and have this entire zombie thing, so we crash. Yeah, it's actually pretty unlucky. We do kill the zombies at least, but now we have to figure out what else we gotta do. Whatever it takes. I'll find it. Yep, so we say that, I guess. And we get this brand new car, so that's pretty cool. And now that we understand the game we're playing, we can actually do a speedrun. But before we start the speedrun, I just want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, NordVPN. In today's world, privacy is becoming more and more of an issue when browsing the internet, especially when using public Wi-Fi or unsecure sites. NordVPN helps with this by making sure malicious people can't see your IP address and encrypting all your data. But one of my favorite advantages to NordVPN is it lets you access blocked content in your country. Say I want to go on Netflix and watch Knives Out. Well, in the US, it will be completely blocked, but if I switch my VPN over to Japan, I can watch all I want. And the cool thing is, there are tons of different places you can virtually go to. Everywhere on the map has different NordVPN spots. There are actually over 5,200 servers in 59 different countries, so you have a lot of options. NordVPN is a service that I used even before being approached by them, so definitely check out the link in the description to get 73% off their two-year plan with an additional four months for free. And then, if you don't end up enjoying NordVPN, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee. Thanks again, NordVPN, for sponsoring this segment of the video, and enjoy the speedrun. So I'm going to start my speedrun as soon as I click on play. Right away, we can skip this first cutscene, and we can go into the garage, because we're going to get our first car. We can't do too much to upgrade it right now, though, so we kind of just have the regular car, and we can kill some zombies with it. Of course, with Earn to Die, the way to play this game is every single day you go a little bit farther. So for this one, I can buy some better wheels, increase my fuel a little bit, and now my car is going to be better at going farther. On the top, that's how far we make we want to get to the end of the line and once we make it there we get on to our next part so i can keep going through killing all these zombies and yeah they just kind of die until i'm out of fuel and we have to go back to the garage for this one i'm going to go to the engine upgrade that one and get a tiny bit more fuel before going into the next day where it's pretty much the same thing we're just going through killing some zombies but this time more efficiently so every time you upgrade of course things are going to be much more efficient and yeah just much easier to kill them we get further we got to those boxes that's the first time we did that and we can just keep going back and this time we're going to a boost now the boost is one of my favorite things in this game because it just lets you go so much faster it also makes your zombie killing so much better so that's pretty great as well and of course that's going to help us get to these boxes and yeah it's just even farther now our next thing we're going to do is upgrade our gear box so we can get that and upgrade our boost just a tiny bit so we're going to be able to go even farther and yeah you probably get the premise of this game we're just trying to go farther and farther each time these zombies are really trying to stop us i'm not sure why it's the exact same zombies in the exact same place every single time but it doesn't matter because I will kill them every single time. So now we move on to the final upgrades of this little part. We're going to upgrade that and our fuel a bit. And at this point, it's pretty much just time to grind. Because as you go through, you can buy better and better cars. We just have our starting car. And of course, it's not going to be the best. But once I get $500, we can buy our next car. And that's just going to be way better. So I'm going to try to go as far as possible to get as much money as possible. And we're just going to keep grinding this until we make it up to $500. I want to be as efficient as possible because the farther I do make it, the more money I'm going to get out of each and every run. So if we want to go fast, we want to make it this far. And once we do, we get all that money. That was like a hundred dollar run right there. If we get a few more of those, we should be able to finish this part of the speed run pretty quickly. At least I'm hoping so, because going through the exact same part of the game over and over isn't the most fun in the world. But hey, I'll return once we're done with this first grinding section. And finally, we should be able to unlock our car after day 11. And this one's just going to be much better. Once you buy a new car, it's pretty much always going to be better than the last one, even if you put a ton of upgrades into it. I mean, you can see we have no boost we have no upgrades at all and it's just making it through everything so easily and that's the beauty about this game you just get better cars and they completely destroy everything your old car could do but we're just going to keep making it through going to spots that we have never made before you can see my arrow for our last run and we did not make it anywhere close to this amount of distance finally we do run out of fuel so that does kind of suck but now we can just buy some more stuff and for this one what we're going to want to do is get a wheels upgrade and we can also get a bit of fuel because we're going to need to use that later so we might as well do that right now and with the wheels this car becomes even better because you can see we are going so fast wheels upgrades are definitely my favorite upgrades in this game just because it feels so good once you get that wheels upgrade you're going so fast you're killing so many zombies and nothing can really stop you except explosions i guess those can kind of stop you at least for a second but i mean we made it through and this really is where the game starts getting a lot more fun because there are so many more boxes that we go through so many more things we start destroying and we're really making it to farther distances which is always going to feel good we almost made it to 
the end of this one. We just have to go back in the garage. And this time we're going to upgrade the engine. We have enough money for that. And we'll also upgrade our fuel a bit and go on to the next one. And the engine plus the wheels, this just makes this car so much fun. I love how all these zombies come back every single day thinking that they're going to have even a chance at killing me. But then I just run over them repeatedly and they die. It's kind of a sad reality for them, but I'm not going to feel bad at all. I mean, they literally dragged down my helicopter at the beginning of this game. Why would I feel bad? But that next run is going to get us extremely close to the end of the game, but of course we don't make it. So what I'm going to want to do here is upgrade my fuel all the way, and maybe we might be able to make it to the end. At least we're hoping, but we're never sure if that will happen or not. If all things go perfect, we should make it to the end this day, though. I mean, I did upgrade the fuel a ton, so I really hope it'll make it to the end. Otherwise, my speed run might kind of be messed up. But we're getting these superb shots, getting money off of each and every single one of those, going through these zombies. You know, it's just normal stuff. After playing this game so much, you just get used to the bloodshed. It just kind of happens. But it looks like we're going to have more than enough fuel to make it to the end, so that's really good. We're done with the first area. There are three total areas within this game, so we make it to this next rest stop and can move on to the garage because now we're in the Red Canyon. So for this one, what I'm going to want to do is upgrade my gearbox, and we're back to a grinding section. We'll just be grinding this out until we can get our next car. This section is also really fun because there are a lot of jumps, a lot of zombies to kill. We get a nice awesome right there and then an uphill battle, so that isn't the best. And you also get these runner zombies, which are going to run after you. Look at this guy. Look at those hops. How did he do that? Yeah, those guys are kind of impressive. So they are going to be a bit annoying, but then we can just hit them there and his arm rips off. So that was kind of hilarious. So at the very least, this little grinding section is going to be a very exciting one. And it is the last grinding section as well. So it's not too bad. We get that gigantic jump. We get to do that over and over again. And we're going to be grinding until we get to $2,500 because that will let us buy our last car, which is going to be a bus. Yeah, I don't really understand why a bus would be effective at this. I feel like it's a little too big, but I guess it can kill zombies really well. So that's probably all that's important. But again, I'll come back once we're finished with this grinding section and then we can move on. And finally, after day 20, we should have enough to buy the bus. So that's going to be our next vehicle. And you can see it's pretty amazing. Just look how big this thing is. And it completely decimates anything that comes near it. So it's kind of beautiful. I do appreciate driving the magic school bus through a bunch of zombies. It's definitely the type of action I expect from an earn to die game. And of course, since we have upgraded to the bus, it means that we're going to get much farther. So it will be exciting to go through all this new stuff. There are going to be new zombies that are trying to run at us, new explosives that we can set off, and just a bunch of fun stuff as we slowly but surely improve. Then of course, we also want to upgrade. I will upgrade my wheels as well as my gas a tiny bit. So we should be able to go much farther because of course, like I've said before, the wheels are my favorite upgrade. They make you go so much faster. We can just go through literally everything and we really don't have to worry about these zombies anymore. They're going to try their best to run at us, but it really doesn't seem like the smartest decision in the world. Even this guy who's running after me. He cannot keep up. He has no chance at all. Yeah, this is really where this game starts getting beautiful. And of course, with more upgrades, we are going to get to more areas. So we make it through this little hill. There are two guys that are running and jumping after us, but they just completely miss. And we make it just a bit farther. Now we can go through and upgrade our engine as well as get a little bit more fuel because that's always going to be nice. And yeah, you pretty much get the memo. We're going even faster. We're killing zombies even better. And we're just having overall a great time. I mean, who wouldn't driving this magic school bus over a bunch of zombies? Zombies. I do have to respect these zombies coming every single day to work. It is their job to try to stop me, and they really do not give up. I literally have a bus that just flattens them instantly, and for some reason, they still come to work and try their best. Seems kind of misguided, but I do respect the effort. Hope things will be a lot worse for them now, because now we have a zombie kit. It's gonna be spikes at the front of our car, which literally just kill the zombies. Before, they could hang on to our car and kind of stop us a little bit, but now it just impales them, and they die. What are you even supposed to do against this. You literally just die the second you collide with my car. And of course, that will help us go farther because zombies are a huge problem. Every time you run into them and they just sit in the front of your car, they're going to make you lose more and more speed. So using these spikes is always going to be nice. Just making sure they're not as much of a nuisance. There's still somewhat of one, but it's a little bit better. And you can clearly see that by how far we were able to make it and how much money we made. And then here's where it really gets fun because we're using a boost. You probably remember the boost from way earlier in the speed run. And now it's even better because we literally have a gigantic rocket and yeah this is gonna be fun i'm pretty much gonna save the boost for when i'm going uphill because that is when it's the most useful we don't want to use it too much because it does have limited fuel it's only on boost level one but it should be very helpful getting over these areas and then once we get to places like this we're gonna have way more fuel and gonna be able to make it farther like right there we passed right through that one and we might be able to make it to the end at least i really hope and we were almost there but that's fine because we can now upgrade to wheels three and we 
should easily be able to make it to the end. And that will lead us to our final stage. And we're pretty much almost done with the speed run at this point. So things have been going pretty well. As long as nothing bad happens, we should be able to get a really good speed run. And of course, wheels upgrades. You already know how much I love them, how much faster we're gonna go. And we can definitely make it to the end. I have tons of fuel left. So I'll have this tiny little jump, make it over that zombie. And then all we have to do is go for it a tiny bit more. And there we go. We made it to the next area. So of course we get that checkpoint. We're gonna go back to the garage and we can increase our boost a ton. So it's gonna be really helpful now. That's gonna give us a lot more fuel for the boost. And that's always gonna be nice, especially because this is the final part of the speed run. There are a lot more zombies that are trying to run after us. A lot of zombies that are gonna be way bigger and trying to do terrible things to us and a lot more explosions. So I mean, that's fun. I just have to keep making it through all these boxes. I'm not sure who set up all these boxes. Are like zombies smart enough to do this on their own? Or was this someone else? Maybe we'll find out if we speed run more or into die games. But for now, we're just going through and being a zombie killing menace. And with that one, we can now get a new gearbox. So that's always going to be nice as well as upgrade our fuel almost to the top. So we're going to be able to go extremely far. As long as I play this well, we should be done with this speed run within the next two to three runs. And that's really what I'm hoping for. And really what I think can happen because just look at this thing. Earlier, I was doubting the school bus, but it seems like it might be the right choice. So at this point, I have a couple things to upgrade. Upgrade. I'm gonna upgrade the fuel, the boost, and save up to get the gun at our next earliest convenience. I do wish we had enough money to get the gun right there. We did get kind of unlucky, but as long as we do some good runs right now, we should be completely fine. And I say that as a bunch of boxes are just stopping me. Okay, that was not amazing. Please, I just have to make barely any mistakes and we should be able to finish this out, even if there are a ton of army zombies trying to come after me. So with that one, we're gonna buy the gun, upgrade it a tiny bit. And at this point, we have to save up for the gearbox. Now the gun, it's a pretty simple thing. I I mean, it's a gun. It will shoot the zombies for me so I don't actually run into them, which is gonna be really helpful because of course, every time you hit a zombie, you're gonna lose some of your momentum. So it really adds up, especially when we upgrade the gun all the way. And it's probably one of the most useful upgrades. Actually, I take that back. All the upgrades are useful. It's just useful in a unique way. But there we go. We made it farther than we ever have before. So that goes to show you how useful the gun is. And we can now upgrade our gearbox to its final level, upgrade the gun a tiny bit more and move on to this next run. The gun is now gonna have 20 total bullets Bullets, so it's going to be able to do a lot more damage. Yeah, these zombies just don't know what's hitting them at this point. There's not much they can do. We have an almost fully upgraded school bus, and I would be very scared if this thing came at me. Finally, we did run out of ammo, so that isn't the best, but we've gotten more than enough use out of it. All that it's going to take at this point is a little bit of good speed running. We might be able to make it to the end with this. At least I'm really hoping we will, because that would be absolutely amazing. We have to make it through a couple army guys, and come on, please, no! Oh, that was so unlucky, but now we can upgrade the engine, upgrade the gun a tiny bit more, and we have a fully upgraded school bus. If I played that a tiny bit better, I might have been able to finish it off there, but that's just the way speedrunning goes sometimes, so we should still finish it out here. I mean, I would hope so. We have literally a fully upgraded school bus. So at this point, it's basically just a victory lap. None of these zombies are gonna be able to do anything to me. They just kind of instantly die. We have fully upgraded everything, and yeah, it's a beautiful sight. So finally, we can make it to this area, and I can stop the timer as soon soon as we're not able to control the car and that's going to be our time 2240 so our guy finally finds another truck which he can drive away and yeah there's another zombie who's like hey i'm a zombie okay i'm not sure if he said exactly that but you get what i mean and if we look on speedrun.com we will see that that puts us in third place we actually like just missed second by a couple of seconds so that's a little sad but i'm still happy with our time now i'd like to thank you all for watching if you enjoyed this video please leave a like on it it really helps me with the youtube algorithm and i'd really appreciate it also check out my other videos i do a lot of cool content on this channel so if you enjoyed this video you might enjoy my others and if you do subscribe but enough shilling thank you all for watching i'll catch you next time